President, my question is to the Minister for Human Services, Senator Payne, representing the Minister for Trade and Investment. And I ask, will the Minister update the Senate on how the recent China-Australia free trade agreement has been received by Australian industry? The Minister for Human Services, representing the Minister for Trade and Investment, Senator Payne. Thank you uh, very much, Mr. President, and I thank uh, Senator Back for his question and for his particular interest in this important area of Australian trade and investment. Mr. President, the landmark China-Australia Free Trade Agreement, or CHAFTA, will unlock substantial new benefits and new jobs for Australians for years to come. And in fact, industry has been universal in their praise Senator for Carr. the agreement. The Business and Council of Australia said that, and I quote. This historic agreement is a transformative moment for the Australian economy. It puts many of our most important sectors on a more competitive footing internationally and gives Australian companies enormous scope to boost trade and create jobs. The Australian Industry Group, for example, said that the agreement announced will provide Australian business with more export and investment opportunities through opening up access to the large Chinese market while seeking to ensure that appropriate safeguards have been included for local industry. The Winemakers uh, Confederation Mr. President, pra praised the much-awaited free trade agreement with China, seals this year's trade trifecta and has the potential to add tens of millions of dollars to the Australian wine industry's export yeah, yeah, earnings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of those uh, levels of support Mr. President, universal in their praise for the trade agreement. What chapter will do Mr. President, is add billions of dollars to the economy, it will create jobs and it will drive higher living standards for Australians. In fact, it will make sure that Australian businesses have unprecedented access to the world's second largest economy. It greatly enhances our competitiveness in key areas like agriculture, resources and energy, like manufacturing, exports and services and investment. And frankly, Mr. President, given the achievement of the trade trifecta by uh, this government in the short period that we have been here and the absolute lack of achievement on the other side in six years of government is a very significant uh, achievement indeed. Thank you, Minister. Senator Wong. Uh, Mr. President, the China Free Trade Agreement hasn't been made public. Uh, Senator Wong, is this uh, and a I'd is ask the minister to table it if she's so interested in there is, there is no point of order, Senator Wong. Order. Order on my right. Order. Senator Lyons. Senator Back. Supplementary question. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I ask the Minister if she'll inform the Senate how the China Australia Free Trade Agreement will open up new opportunities for Australian exporters. On my left, Minister. Thank you very much, Mr. President, and I thank Senator Back for his uh, supplementary. On the full implementation of the chapter, 95% of Australian goods exports to China will be tariff free, and significantly, tariffs will be abolished for Australia's $13 billion dairy industry. Senator Australia's Wong. beef and sheep farmers will also gain from the abolition of tariffs ranging from 12 to 25%. Tariffs will also be eliminated on a wide range of Australian manufactured goods, including pharmaceutical products and car engines. The Australian government, in this achievement, Mr. President, has secured the best ever market access provided to a foreign country by China on services with enormous scope to build on an export market already worth $7 billion. This means more jobs and it means, more higher, and it means higher living standards for Australians as well. Thank you. Minister, send her back a final yes. supplementary question. Thanks, Mr President. Uh, again, I asked the minister if she could order. I ask if the here. minister could advise the Senate how the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement demonstrates that Australia is open for business. Minister. Just, just a moment, Minister. Order on my left. Senator Lyons and Senator Carr. Order. Minister. Thank you uh, very much, Mr. President. Well, that's, that's the problem, isn't it? We've achieved in 12 months what those opposite couldn't achieve in six years. In fact, negotiations for this free trade agreement started under the Howard government and were concluded by this government, Mr. President. Pause the clock. Order. Point of order, Senator Cameron. 
a point of order, the Minister is misleading the Senate because no one has seen this that, agreement. That is a debating point, No one has point, seen the Senator agreement, Cameron. and I'll bet the Minister hasn't Senate, seen the agreement either. Your seat. That is no point of order. Order on both sides. Order. Order. Minister. Thank you very much. As I was saying, and I'm very pleased to reiterate, Mr. President, we have achieved in 12 months what those opposite could not achieve in six years. We are building on trade deals already concluded with Korea and Japan, and the chapter forms part of this very powerful trifecta of agreements with Australia's three largest export markets that account, in fact, for more than 61 per cent of our exports of goods. This trade trifecta is absolute proof that we are open for business. It means more jobs and higher living standards for Australians, Mr President, and that's something those opposite could not achieve. Thank you, 